Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for October 24th, 2023. Welcome to Shredding Lavelle Tarot. Hi, my name is Caleb. If you are new, welcome. I'm glad that you are here. If you are returning, what up though? I'm glad that you're back, okay? <laughs> Pisces, we're going to get right into your read today, okay, for the tarot. Let's see what spirit would like to see you guys today. Just keep in mind, Pisces, that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when I do this reading. Whenever it comes across your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? <laughs> also, Pisces, keep in mind that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so... This message may not resonate with everyone. Just keep the pieces that do resonate with you and leave the rest for someone else, okay? <laughs> All right, let's see what we got today, Pisces. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more four, and that will be the reading. One, two, three, four. Wasn't clean. Let me do one clean four, okay? Jesus, my nose is itching. Pisces, your, am, your I am affirmations for today are, I am deserving of respect and wealth. I am deserving of respect and wealth. Write that down in the comment section there, Pisces. I am deserving of respect and wealth. Not only do you need to write it in the comments, but speak it. Speak it out loud into existence. I am deserving of respect and wealth. Okay, one, two, three, four. There we go. This is the reading. Boom, boom, boom. I'm trying a new thing on my channel. This is actually the third reading so far that I've done where I do not read reversals. I only read in the upright, okay? Because it is a form of manifestation. I'm trying to manifest some good things here for you, Pisces. Boom, we have the nine of pentacles in the reverse. Um, <laughs> in the past, not the reversal. I had reversal on the brain because I was just talking about reversals. However, nine of pentacles in the past here, okay? This is a kept woman, of course. This card is applicable to either gender and people of any age. For those of y'all that don't know, I do use a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. I use this as a quick reference guide, okay? But it is my energy that pulls the card, so just keep that in mind. So whatever cards that my energy pulls are the cards that you guys need to see, okay? So... Let's see, this is a kept woman, of course, this card is applicable to either gender and people of any age. As long as they are among the idle rich or merely serenely content with the wealth they do possess, their passions and their ease of life, this extremely fortunate card betokens material success to the point of leisurely inactivity. But this is, a, this is more than simply having money. This card is about enjoying your passion in life and having an ease of existence so that you can chase your dreams and not have to put up with the drudgery of everyday life that the rest of the population of Earth have to contend with, no matter how, what the, how, no matter how wealthy they are. This is, as, this is life as permanent vacation, no matter what your status otherwise. So, it actually seems here, like, specifically that in the past, you were probably content here um, with your life and your living situation. could be financially, but it actually doesn't even really have to be. This card mainly represents just being happy with what you have, Happy with your candles, happy with, you know, um, your whatever. I can't even remember what this is called, you know. <laughs> this is like uh, the things that makes the mist come out so like you don't get nosebleeds in the wintertime, you know. So just happy with the things that you have, happy with how life is going, happy with the people that are around you. Just a happy card in general. Um, for some of you out there, it does mean wealth. Too. So you could be happy with the money that you have, could be happy with the money that you made, happy with the way things are going in that kind of way in the past year. Okay. Boom. We have the Ten of Wands. We also have the High Priestess and we have the Five of Wands, okay? So it seems here that um, you're being asked to uh, be careful what you wish for. Wish for This is in the past here, so it's like you kind of were trying to manifest something and you were wanting to do something like, say you wanted a new job, um, a new house, a new car, okay? And it was telling you, like, be careful what you wish, wish for and make sure that you are specific because whatever it is that you wanted or whatever it is that you're trying to get here, um, it's not always what it uh, is made out to be once you get it, okay? It's usually like, oh, uh, I really want, I really want um, like a new car. And then a lot of people don't think about the new car payment, you know, that comes along with that, like a brand new car, you know what I'm saying, or something to this nature. It's also showing me that there was some kind of um, altercation between you and some people here with the Five of Wands. Um, which usually has to do with something of, especially with this five of wands and the ten of wands, 
what it's giving me is like you're having some conflict with the people around you because of this change that you were wanting to make. Uh, you're wanting to do something, okay? You're wanting to make a change. Um, you were trying to uh, talk to the people around you and see what their ideas were, and they were like, "No, you can't do that because that'll that will be this, okay? That will be that. All right, this will be this will this will cause this to happen. All right, doing this will cause this to happen. You have some people in your energy like that, and they're all trying to like uh, come together. They're trying to basically like." Um, speak their own ideas of what you should be doing okay and it's basically like everyone talking but nobody really getting anywhere it's just kind of like a uh, excuse the terminology but clusterfuck of a, <laughs> of a situation here everybody's trying to talk over each other right um you also have the high priestess which is a good card okay it kind of um the high priestess is the veil or she is the the holder of the veil basically like she en encom encompasses the veil she's the one who sees the light in the dark, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the um, the spiritual realm and the material realm. Intuition. So it seems here that you're trying to go and listen to your intuition here. Instead of like, you know, you have a lot of people coming to you here. They have their opinion about what you should and should not do. You know, you have your opinion of what you should not do. And either way, you might be taking their information in. Okay, you might be listening to it. You might be taking this piece and of this person's information and that part of this person's information over here and a little bit of that person's over information over there too. But you're still listening to your intuition, okay? You understand that this is a dream that you have. This is something that you want to do. It's something that you've been like guided to do for a long time here. And it shows me here that you're still, even though taking uh, the people's advice, or at least some of their advice, you're still listening to your intuition, moving forward, and doing what you need to do, okay? Knowing when to seek guidance and doing so. So you guys may be praying over this situation, or you may be looking at your higher power, or looking for guidance in some kind of other area, just then, than just the people that you usually would talk to for guidance. So say that um, you are someone that is really close to your mom, um, and usually after... Um, like in the years past, you know, usually in the years past, you would go to your mom for guidance, right? And and it seems here that you're taking your mother's advice, okay? Like if this is if this is just an example, okay? But it seems here that you're taking your mother's advice, but also you're uh, listening to your intuition, okay? And you're seeking guidance and with your mother, but also from a different aspect as well. So maybe you're talking to someone who um, is a like they're major or like think of like major their major is in this okay so like this is what they studied for so you're going to this person to be like hey what do you think about this okay that's what i'm getting here um and you're uncovering and revealing that this is something here like what you should be doing okay something like this reflection quiet listening intuitive work seeking out expert knowledge and assistance wow yeah so um, and you're also like listening to your intuition. You're, you're going inwards as well. You're trying to see like, is this something that I really want to do? Is this something that I really should do? And it's telling me here with the Empress that yes, you're about to be stepping into your power here. Okay. You're about to be stepping into a whole new power that you didn't even know that you had or had the ability to, um, had the ability to encompass here. That's what I'm getting here. The Empress. So you could be pregnant. Okay. Someone could be pregnant here or you could already have kids or someone in your energy is getting pregnant okay this is in the present moment so you could be having a present coming along <laughs> Pisces uh, be careful okay I wouldn't say be careful but if you're not looking for pregnancy most definitely um, make sure you're protecting yourselves in the ways that you need to in order to prevent that okay um, motherhood you could also like I said already be a mother identify the person so this could easily be nursing and you also could be starting something new or birthing something new like a new idea a business plan a venture something like this okay taking in a stray um, let's see what it says um, it could easily be nursing along new business venture with great care and with great care and love as it could be the act of taking in a stray so you also could be helping someone else in some kind of way with this okay whatever you're doing here in life uh as a situation indicates a happy home life a time for more a time of more than peace think more renaissance where arts and luxuries abound as rep repression ends creativity free thought and the free expression of that thought are allowed to blossom in every way this is truly a happy card so yeah showing up in a very happy spot right now in the present pisces what about this empress card for pisces today in the present please there we go we have judgment. We also have the three of wands and we have the hermit. Okay. Judgment. Let me look up the judgment card first. Judgment. 
judgment, baby. Judgment. I mean, basically what it means is that someone or uh, you or someone around you is like, um, I want to say getting judgment. All right, someone is either getting judgment or receiving judgment for something that happened. So this is like, maybe you always had someone that was like, telling you you can't do this you can't do this new thing you shouldn't do this new thing or something like that you're finally like looking past what this person is saying and digging deeper in yourself as well so it's like you're like stretching the bounds of reality for yourself here and you're going a little bit farther than that okay it says zombies well they look like zombies to us gray skin rising from the dead right that's these people here in the card that's what they're talking about at the bottom there okay this card indicates, as noted above, the end of something, but not necessarily the beginning of something else. It is both a progress report and a respite from action, a pause, if you will. In the most simple cases, it is it does indicate lawsuits or judgments and lawsuits, report cards, school graduations, breaking up after a loud shouting match. It simply represents the end of something and a marker stone placed in the Akashic records that says this happened and as a result, now it is time for something else. But what will this be? But what is will... Now it is time for something else, but what that is will be left up to you and that old devil circumstance. So it's like, you're the ball is in your court here, okay? So something happened, and like I said, you're kind of looking past this, um, like it feels like you had some kind of blockage, is what I'm getting intuitively here. You had some kind of like blockage in your way here. Could be a person, could be a job, living situation, could be a mental process, the way that you think about things, okay? And it's like, you're finally like, just overcoming it a little bit and now it's like a little bit of arguing going on this could be also with this five of wands in the uh past here this could still be like a little bit of overlaying from this five of wands in the past like a little bit of argument still people still trying to like bring you to a uh, different conclusion than what you were already at here okay um so it's like what it is what is going to happen now after this is going to be left up to you now it does show me here with the three of wands that you are seeking out a new venture because you're standing here the man has his three wands he's looking out okay and if this is the same card or is that the two of wands um you're like looking out and you're wondering which direction to go you're wondering how to get where you need to get to where you are going to okay you're like okay which way can i go about this what way can i go you know what is the direction for me here and you're looking at it like, what is the best way to go here for yourself? I will read it for you. It says, this is, a, this is an extremely fortunate card to draw. Although it can be frustrating because as you look closely at the boats in the bay, they are sailing away, indicating the successful launch of a venture rather than the return profits of one. This card tells us that things go well, keep going. This card often appears when we are frustrated by a lack of obvious results and we need encouragement to persist. Other forces are at work and we must also apply our efforts intelligently while we are waiting for our results. So... It's like you put in some kind of work, energy, and effort here, and you're like impatiently waiting. You're like, oh my God, all right, when when am I going to get the results? When, I, when am I going to get the results? And then you also have someone in your energy here like, it'll never work. It's not going to happen for you. Nope. Shouldn't have even tried it in the first place, all right? This is your call. This is your um, message right now from spirit to keep on persisting, okay? Like keep on waiting. Be patient, okay? It's going to be a little bit hard, all right? But you're going, you're going in the right direction. You've already started something new, okay? You've moved forward in some type of way. You push past these boundaries that have always been set in front of you, okay? You started to realize that this is something that you've been called to do, and you're like, okay, I can do this, all right? If you haven't yet, Pisces, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please, please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, okay? And I reply to all of them at some point. <laughs> Usually within a day or two, I reply to all my comments, okay? I'll go ahead and look at the hermit for the present and then we'll go on and move to the future, all right? Mm -mm, mm -mm. The hermit is a card of like waiting, being still, okay? Like kind of seeking something or like analyzing something. You're like, okay, the hermit. The story of the hermit is like his feet are frozen to the top of this hill here, okay? But he has a lantern right there with him, you know? He's on the mountain. He's not not on top of a hill. I apologize, okay? But his feet are frozen to the mountain here, okay? And he's, like, feeling stuck in a sense, but also, like, wanting to be an introvert a little bit. But he has the lantern. The only thing he has to do is set the lantern by his feet so his feet can unthaw and move, right? It says, as a person, a college professor, any teacher, therapist, consultant, researcher, or priest, male or female, and not necessarily old nor creepy, one who seeks truth 
or provides advice. There aren't a lot of prophets running around these days, so it could easily be any elder who has wise counsel, a reliable and wise religious leader, or even a Sherpa should you be in the Himalayas at the time of the, of the reading. Otherwise, it usually it is usually an institution, vocational school, junior college, university, or any of the teachers said to inhabit such locales. This card is usually too big to simplify, to simply imply a person who gives you advice, so open it up or look at Spectrum cards to determine the full extent of the meaning behind this. So it seems like possibly here, Pisces, you are deciding maybe whether you should or should not go back to school, okay, or college or go back to learn something like whether even if it's on YouTube. Okay, you go to YouTube to go learn about something new, right? And you were like, oh, I've always wanted to do this. I've always like thought about doing this. I've always thought about going to uh, college to go learn about this or going on YouTube and learning about this and like pursuing a passion in it or creating a channel uh, so I could teach people how to do it as well. And you have someone in your energy here like lingering, kind of like, no, you, can, you should not do that. Of course not. Why would you do that? That's just, you're already, you know, you've already been working at the gas station for 17 years, okay? You should just continue being a cashier at the gas station. Okay, I work at a gas station, guys. I'm not going to lie. Okay, <laughs> so, I mean, that's why I'm, like, sitting here and I'm telling you this. I went back. I kind of downgraded in my job in order to pursue my um, um, YouTube channel and my TikTok channel, okay? And, like, I made, like, really great money bartending. I always make great money bartending, but I'm a recovering alcoholic. So, at the same time, I know that I can stand there and bartend all the time, but... The kind of energy that you constantly have to be around is it's just very draining at the end of the day. And I'm not going to say that being in a gas station is any better, okay? It's not very much better, but at the same time, like, this is what I'm, I'm called to do. Like, this is what I'm good at doing. I know that it has something to do with my voice, uh, most definitely, and communication. So, like, um, I've been learning other languages as well. Um, I, like, I love language. I always have. I always have loved words. Um, I've always like worked on trying to how to use my voice. I can do deep, I can do light, I can talk like you know however I want to do like in that type of way. Um, I've always like done certain things with my voice. Um, I love rap music. I like to rap myself, you know. So I'm not sure if that's something that I want to pursue. In fact, I'm actually now kind of changing my mind about that with this Ten of Wands card that I constantly keep getting in readings for Aries. Okay, so. Um, like looking at this here, you know, and uh, for a long, 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 long time, there were just these boundaries that were always set around me that were just like, don't do that. You shouldn't do that. Like, that's not going to help you. You should, this is just, that's take the safe route, you know, just take the safe route. The safe route's right there in front of you. Do the safe route, you know, I can take the safe route bartending and make like 25 to $35 an hour easy, you know, and that's more money than I make working a full-time job, working less hours. So, you know, that's the safe route for me, <laughs> but you know, something kept saying, no, Caleb, like, try this. Why don't you try this? You know, you have this option. There's also this option over here. Try that. Also have my sobriety channel on TikTok at Caleb of the Woods. That will always be in the description box below if you would like to take a look at that. Um, so it's like now not only am I trying to be sober for myself, but I want to help other people get sober because I understand what it's like, like firsthand, understand what it's like to be an extreme alcoholic and have to come back from that. So some of you guys may be trying to do something completely new here in a whole new way. You know, and other people, other people don't see the vision that you have. That's why they can't understand what you're trying to do, okay? So that's why you're being called to persist here. Just keep moving forward. Baby steps. Be patient. Persist, you know? You can't put in, like, it's, this ain't the lottery, you know? You don't just put in one thing one time and win the jackpot. You know, you just got to keep working at it a little bit at a time. Take a, every time you swing the pickaxe, you get a new little chunk of ice off the ice block. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like that here, guys. All right that hermit we also got one more part of the hermit card here it says as an action or an event it can indicate deep intense study or enrolling in any of the schools above conversely it has a secondary meaning that of withdrawing from society if you suspect this at all you should definitely open it up as a withdrawal could be the reaction to depression drug use a loss of friends or running away from any other unpleasantness the act of withdrawing is not in and bad of itself, try to determine the motivation for this act to see if the response is equitable or called for, okay? So if you're feeling like nervous or upset or feeling a little introverted and want to pull your energy back, especially if it, especially if, if, if <laughs> especially if something that you are doing is like kind of uh, a little bit out of your comfort zone, um, take a step back, but also realize just take that step back, rest, relax for a little bit, you know, get your energy back up and then go back out there, persist, keep moving forward, you know? one step in front of the other just one step in front of the other just like that you know what i'm saying all right for the future here it does look like you 
Pisces or someone in your energy, if it is another water sign, and it doesn't have to be because we have a cups card here is a four of cups is like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, of course, um, water. But uh, it shows here that you're lacking, like, or, or not lacking, a, not really a word that I like to use, um, refusing a little bit uh, any help or wanting any help or you're really upset about something or something causes you to be really upset for you to not want any help, okay? Um, and the reason I say that is because we have the four of cups, okay? You see how the person's like offering out a cup to them, like the hand offering out a cup and they're just sitting there crossed armed up against the tree like, no, I don't want no help, okay? This is the energy that is, is coming through with a card here. So this could be you could be someone in your energy, take it as it resonates and feel free to reverse the roles, okay? Because it doesn't have to be you, so it might just be someone you're dealing with. It says immovable object, or you're standing firmly, actually. Could very well be you standing firmly in your decision to move forward with whatever this new idea or um, new idea or venture it is that you're going on. It shows me here that you're possibly someone, for someone out here, you're deciding to stand firmly in your decision, and that's a good thing, okay? Discontent phase malcontent person it is hard to be this disappointed with life but some people find ways to become so this card represents resistance to any help advice compassion charity or compromise this is more than unhappiness this is a solid wall one builds up around themselves and shuts the world out it is absolute refusal to listen to in, to listen to interact with or even recognize the efforts of others the subtext of this card is that everything has been offered to the person this card represents therefore this card is supremely supremely dependent on associated cards for casualty one cannot reach the state of withdrawal without reason or circumstance look closely for these reasons before offering up solutions so yeah let's get some clarifications card clarification cards all right we have the queen of cups so yeah you're standing in a very uh positive position here Pisces very positive card okay queen of cups it's like and, and what I'm getting especially from this reading here is not that you're upset or even like maybe someone did say or do something um and, and about this new venture that you're taking and it did make you upset but you're still standing firmly in your ideas and your beliefs and what you're going to do and how you were moving forward here okay so you're 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 the queen of cups okay queen of cups is a very strong card uh the queen actually all the queens specifically have to represent a lot because they are the only female counterpart for the um court cards okay it says this is the card of an emotionally sensitive woman usually gifted either with some level of psychic abilities or a strong creative talent artistic musical or design her primary traits are her imagination sensitivity to the needs and desires of others her caring nature and love of animals or nature astrologically use this card to represent cancer scorpio or piscean women so yeah you're like um emotionally sensitive you have talent in the artistic or musical or design realm um, you have a, a, a vivid imagination, like a wild imagination here, and you're sensitive to the needs of others. Yeah, you're very caring, like a very caring person. And again, you also have the two of wands. So it's like now you feel like you, like the power is in your hands. You have the whole world in your hands here. Um, you've sent out your... Is that this one? Where'd the three of wands go? Yeah. The ships and the three of wands are being sent out, Okay. So now it's like you're moving forward or you're wondering which, let me look, let me just look it up, yeah, look it up, two of wands, two of wands, sure, two of wands, all right, beginnings and calculated risks, but instead of the spark of creativity or burst of energy as seen in the ace, this card has carefully planned effort to create a favorable outcome. This is the card of planning, coordinating, the will applied to physical action, the law of attraction being applied. This, a card of... This a card of doing and waiting. Results will come later. Right now, plan carefully and act decisively. Gather allies and support if you can as well. Okay, so yeah. You're sitting here, you're doing, you're waiting, you're strategic, you're planning, you're figuring out which way to do this the best way. Yeah, you're like standing in your power here. This is amazing, okay? And someone and someone in your energy here is feeling trapped about this, okay? And it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. But you have the eight of swords and swords represent air. So it could very well be. Boom, 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 boom. I got the power. <laughs> Somebody out here got the power, Pisces. I love that. All right. Now this is the Eight of Swords. You got someone feeling like stuck because of this, but the the swords are just stuck in the ground here. They're not touching this person. Okay. They're like loosely wrapped right here, and they have a very loose bandana on. You know, if they just kind of wiggle a little bit, like get the like loosely wrapped cloth off of them, realize that none of these swords are touching them, and just take off their bandana they'll be okay right it says this card obviously illustrates being trapped in a situation incarceration feeling emotionally closed off 
creatively stifled, being held hostage by unseen forces, most often a mediocre job, few viable options for betterment, trapped in a bad marriage, etc. But the thinly veiled underlying message behind this card is that all of these possibilities are merely the totality of a wall of stone that surrounds you at this time. To effect your escape from this imprisonment, certain stones must be removed. To take down a wall quickly and easily, only a few select stones need to be removed for the weight of the wall to collapse in on itself. You don't have to take each and every stone down by hand. This card is a wake-up call to selectively remove things from your life that are collectively causing greater harm than they could individually. So, uh, if it is you, Pisces, uh, you do have like some things here, like kind of ca causing a little bit of blockages for this new path, this new route, this new venture that you're taking in life. So you might have to take a step back and try to see what those things are. You know what I'm saying? I would, I would definitely recommend meditating or breath work to like ground yourself. Okay. Um, and figure out where these things are or what these are in your energy. Now, for some of you, though, out here watching this, I'm getting, like, two storylines. This is someone in your energy feeling this way. They're feeling like since you are now, like, stepping up, doing a new thing, they're like, oh, my God, Pisces is just moving on, and I feel so stuck. I don't know what to do, and they're just upset about it. So this person, it seems like, is a little bit of a codependent person, if it is someone in your energy here. So they got to figure out what they're going to do while you're doing what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's not that hard. You just got to figure out what you're, what you're going to do now. <laughs> I'm going to get three cards from Big Bubba Mac to clarify the situation. Big Bubba Mac, Spirit Guide, Angels, Ancestors, and Archangel Michael. Please let me get three cards to clarify the situation. How many cards is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven's a good number. This is just We're going to take these because these fell out. Um, you could have a daughter or something about your daughter is significant or you are a daughter watching this, okay? Um, someone is wearing your, a mask in your energy, which kind of means that they're like one way in front of your face, but then they kind of talk a different way behind your back. They're not really like true to the way they speak to you. If you have crystals or any type of um, rocks, anything, you might need to cleanse them or something about a clear quartz is sp uh, significant because you can use clear quartz to um, to recharge your crystals, okay? Someone could be doing this to pictures of you or something about that they could be or you could be doing this if you're stepping away from a person something about that is significant you could have a snake plant okay um a snake plant represents the mother-in-law's tongue so if you have a mother-in-law if you're a man watching this uh they could be kind of talking about you in some type of way maybe negatively or positively it doesn't really um show it doesn't really show that here okay we also have surprise so you could be surprised about something or someone is surprised about what you're doing or something about surprise is significant and also something about your car or truck is significant here okay those are going to be the cards from big bubba mac today now let's go ahead and get a message from the ancestor oracle card to see what your ancestors would like to say to you today or what, what message they would like to bring to you ancestors god angel ancestors <laughs> i always use ancestors third ancestors god angel archangel michael guard God, angels, archangel, Michael, God, angels, archangel, Michael, God, angel, archangel, Michael. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, snap, diggity dog. You're a cel you're a boundless celestial out here. You ain't got nothing but good things coming to you, Pisces. You keep your head up, okay? <laughs> one, two, three, four. Let me get one more four, and that will be the reading for Pisces. Actually, they want me to do this, so I'm going to do this really quick. Uh, 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 uh. Now let me get one for one, two, three, four. All right, you're an explorer, an adventurer or explorer. You're going on a new adventure here. Like I said, this reading is on point. This is going to be a very specific reading for someone out here. Okay, you're embarking on a new adventure. Okay, however, let's read what it means. That's just what I'm getting intuitively from the card. Okay, that'll be up here, I guess. okay some of these are like not in order like most of the whole um thing here is in um alphabetical order and then they have some that are just randomly in here like for example the very first card is celestial so <laughs> oh, we're looking for explorer that's why there we go all right this is what the card means it says we seek stability in our lives yet in our efforts to create routines and a sense of safety and security we compromise that pleasure of discovery and novelty after all getting outside one's comfort zone implies that you will be uncomfortable putting yourself in familiar 
No, putting yourself in unfamiliar situations that require adaptability, courage, creative problems, creative problem solving, and a willingness to be adventurous, get the juices flowing, and can create new neural pathways and pathways in the brain. Exploration and adventure are not only confined to geographical journeys, but can apply to other areas of your life, such as emotional, physical, mental, and relational exploration. Taking risks with these kinds of adventures, you'll likely be nervous. You're venturing into the unknown and the unfamiliar, but you're also stretching the limits of what you think you're capable of doing and creating greater confidence in your ability to handle fresh situations and challenges. You feel the predictability of your life caught up in a revolving door of routine and boredom, punctuated occasion, punct, all right, you, all right, this is what your ancestors are wanting you to hear through me drawing this card right here. It says, you feel the predictability of your life caught up in a revolving door of routine and boredom, punctuated occasionally with unexpected surprises that provide contrast between the habitual and familiar cycle of your life, feeling trapped in the ordinary. Feeling trapped in the ordinariness, you may even fantasize a way out of this prison-like feeling that crops up periodically. It's time to break out. Introduce some excitement into your relationships. Express your emotions more freely. Speak your truth without blame, shame, or judgment. Ask for what you want. Plan an adventure that challenges you physically and or mentally. Take up a musical instrument or enroll in a painting class. Stretch yourself. Get out of your habitual routines and relax the obsessive need to be in control. While you're at it, have some fun. So yeah, embark on this new journey. This is a perfect like reading. This is like so synchronized, like it just matched perfectly. I want to look at the bottom of this. Yeah, earth, okay. Wife giver, earth, life giver, okay. It could be something to do or you're like a mother. Like I said, someone out here is a mother watching this. But yeah, you're about to go on a new adventure here, Pisces. I'm so excited for you. This is amazing, okay. Like you're definitely standing in your own power here pisces you're moving up okay you're breaking down the walls that have been surrounding you you're breaking out of the chains okay you're breaking out of the cycle and you're moving forward in an amazing way here okay pisces this is going to be the end of your reading if this message resonated with you or if this if you want to come back and watch more hit that like button at the bottom share this video subscribe to the channel and please please leave a comment in the comment section i do read all my comments okay Pisces, love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, guys, love yourself first.